What is going on, guys? It's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend so far. We have some updates in the world of DC to talk about today, and it has to do with Zack Snyder's additional photography for Justice League, as well as some cool Empire magazine covers for the Suicide Squad. We're going to get right into it. Obviously, the biggest news from the past week was uh, the fact that Jared Leto is being added to the additional photography of Justice League. Quick thoughts on that before I get on to the Deathstroke news. Uh, there are three categories of people. People who like Jared Leto, people who didn't like Jared Leto's performance in The Suicide Squad, and the third group, which I find myself in, is the group of people who think he could have been an awesome Joker, but it wasn't very apparent in the uh, theatrical cut that we got. Hopefully David Ayer has uh, his chance to release his version of the movie at some point. But uh, that's my thoughts on that. I am excited for Jared Leto to join uh, the cast of Justice League, not only because I think Jared Leto can be an awesome Joker, but I think it's obviously going to be able to expand on uh, the storytelling and the depth, the character development, uh, the depth of the character development for Ben Affleck's Batman, uh, especially. And that's all I'll say about that for right now. Darren had some thoughts on it as well. But uh, let's go into this right here. So... I'm just going to sh show you this quick image. Collider says exclusive. Zack Snyder's Just League reshoots add Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke. And I think I'm saying his name right. Anyways, uh, Zack Snyder's Just League roster gets even wider. They say, um, I guess they have an exclusive source that says he will reprise his role uh, as, as Deathstroke. Though, uh, a representative for HBO Max didn't confirm this at all. Uh, so basically, Collider actually had a chance to speak with Joe Manganiello uh, recently, and he said, if I was part of it, that wouldn't, make, that wouldn't be my place to announce that. That would be Zach's place. So whether uh, or not that's happening, that's an answer that is below my NDA level or whatever you want to call it. So uh, basically, he was also spotted on a live stream this past week in which he's sporting a short haircut similar to what we kind of see uh, at, it, at the end of the theatrical cut of Justice League in which he appeared as Deathstroke briefly talking to Lex Luthor. And I thought his casting was totally spot on. And when you see uh, Ben Affleck from years ago release that kind of test footage of Deathstroke walking out of, uh, what were they calling it, the flying bat, the uh, basically his ship, uh, in Justice League. When you see Deathstroke walking out, it looked incredible. The suit looked incredible. Joe Manganiello just has an incredible presence about him since he's such a big guy. Uh, so I obviously thought uh, that that there was a great future in line for him. Unfortunately, it got kind of cut short, but maybe that's going to be rekindled once again because we may get him uh, as Deathstroke. Now, what could he be doing uh, in Zack Snyder's Justice League? Now, we do know that Deathstroke uh, broke out Lex Luthor from uh, from prison. I, don't, I can't remember if he was being held in Arkham. But uh, he, was, he was broken out from prison by Deathstroke. And uh, we could be seeing that. We could be seeing Deathstroke breaking him out of prison. Uh, a lot of people... That's probably their first guess because it's probably the most apparent, right? Zack Snyder probably shot something that had to do with Deathstroke breaking him out. Apologize for the noise in the background. But uh, what uh, what other things can Deathstroke be doing? Uh, maybe, maybe it would be awesome uh, if they want to give a little bit more depth into the world of Gotham and what made Ben Affleck so jaded. Maybe we do get to see Deathstroke and Batfleck meet briefly for either a fight scene uh, or just an interaction between them where Batman thwarts one of his kills. I don't know. Uh, that could be cool. A lot of some other people are saying that uh, there could be a nightmare scene in which both Deathstroke and Jared Leto's Joker could be uh, making some sort of deal with Steppenwolf in an alternate reality where Lois Lane dies. Uh, the, the villains could be ruling uh, Earth. So that is another plausible thing for sure. Now, if it was that nightmare scene, I would not be mad at all because the nightmare scene literally took Batman v Superman for me into a different stratosphere of superhero movie. The amount of layers and uh, story, uh, I should say, not storytelling, but uh, the, the, the seeds of a story that Zack Snyder was planting for Justice League and future movies was all in that nightmare scene. And I thought it was so awesome and so well done. And um, 
if it was if he was coming back for a nightmare scene, I wouldn't be mad at all. But uh, if I was to guess, it would probably be the fact that he's coming back for uh, uh, to 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 shoot a little bit of extra footage of him breaking Lex Luthor out. Um, I'm hoping it's more. Remember, Zack Snyder has a four hour time limit to fill in this mini series which was a movie. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of, of this news about Deathstroke being added to Zack Snyder's Justice League and what are your predictions on how he's going to be used for the movie. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, the last thing we're going to talk about in this video was these Empire Magazine photos, uh, images, uh, magazine covers that came out yesterday. Here's James Gunn uh, uh, tweeting it out actually. He says, Hey everybody, check out the Suicide Squad on Empire Magazine. The issue goes on say October 29th with lots of cool images and interviews. Um, I'm not sure who actually reads and maybe people who collect Empire for a while, maybe this is something they'll be doing, but I don't know who still does uh, collect uh, hard magazines. Uh, more power to you if you do, but these are some, I should say, awesome covers. I think it's awesome. Some people I've seen on Twitter um, are bashing it for I don't know why. I think it looks actually pretty awesome. Now you can see um, you can see all the characters on there. And now I gotta say, no character on its own really, really stands out to me. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, John Cena's uh, Peacemaker character, just because of that big bright helmet. But I like how the there is no one character that it's focused on. It's focused on the squad as a whole. Everyone's costume looks pretty cool to me. Um, you know, when you see them. In the behind the scenes footage it looks kind of outrageous some of these costumes like you literally got a shark in the back and it looks organic and part of this world at least to me so king his version of king shark uh is in there you got a myriad of characters which i'm excited to meet um and i'm really wondering who's actually going to be biting the biting the dust in in this movie but anyways i think it's a cool um I think it's a cool uh, magazine shoot, and I guess there's another exclusive one for uh, subscribers uh, only. And you can see James Gunn is actually sitting down in there with, um, sitting down right next to Margot Robbie, and the cast is just more casually just smiling. I think it really looks awesome. Um, I, I, I tell you this, seeing that uh, footage at uh, DC Fandom, it really won me over. This movie, I am confident it's going to be amazing and um whether or not you're fans of james gunn if you can take move that aside and just watch the movie i don't see how you can uh bash on what we've seen taking these obscure uh outrageous characters and putting them into a movie and making making you really interested in seeing polka dot man come on man uh i'm so hyped for this so uh, i mean let me know what you guys thought. Uh, let me know what you think about these magazine covers in the comments down below. Um, you know, there's, there's rumors that there may be some uh, Zack Snyder uh, posts this coming weekend, especially because of all this talk around the whole Deathstroke thing. So if there's more to come this weekend, be sure we'll be sure to be talking about it. So uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys do enjoy your weekend. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit, and give a like to this video. Thanks, guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.